Well, good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Congress is on recess for the month of August, and that gives us a chance to catch up with members of our congressional delegation, find out what they're up to. This morning, it's our pleasure to speak once again with Representative Lori Trahan, elected last year to succeed Nikki Songus, representing the 3rd Congressional District. Congresswoman, welcome. Thank you. Good Thanks to have you me. here. Good to be here. So, uh, Last week, Columbia Gas reached a $143 million settlement compensating Merrimack Valley businesses and residents for damage done in the terrible gas explosions. In a statement, Dan Rivera, the mayor of Lawrence, said, quote, the question is, after the attorneys take their cut, how much are residents and businesses really left with? My hope is the people and businesses in these lawsuits are truly being made whole and not being victimized yet again, end quote. Do you share his concern? Yeah, I think we're going to monitor that, right? It, it's, uh, there, I think it's too early to, to sort of make uh, a statement around if that uh, settlement is adequate uh, and so we're going to be monitoring how those claims are awarded uh, to those families and businesses who have waited a long time uh, to be uh, restored and so you know we there the reality is we've been working on the ground with uh, so many of the businesses who have outstanding claims uh, and we're going to continue that work I mean this is a billion dollar business I believe uh, yeah. Columbia Gas and its parent company this is chump change for them yeah, and it's, uh, you know, th there have been a bunch of milestones, you know, in the aftermath, right? There's been the settlement with the Rendon family. Right. There's been uh, the settlements with the cities and towns that were affected. Uh, and there's been, uh, you know, I was just part of the Rock the Register initiative, which, you know, basically tell or reminds folks in the community that the pain is not going to be uh, alleviated just from settlements alone. You know, we have to go back and support these businesses, and we have to help get them to the, the levels that they were at in 2017. So I think it's a, um, you know, uh, we all have to do our part uh, and we're going to continue. I mean, there, we're, the pressure is, is still on making sure that every single family and business is made whole. I just wonder uh, uh, whether there's any real long-term deterrence against this company or others yeah. uh, from what's happened here yeah. uh, to be more careful. Absolutely. It's, uh, it is the reason. So I actually spoke to Senator Markey yesterday. He called me to, uh, to inform me that the Senate had just marked up uh, what we had marked up in the House um, in terms of the gas line, um, the pipeline safety bill uh, that is named after Lionel Rondon. By markup, you mean it's, it's moving forward yes, now? Yes, it was voted to, on yeah. uh, out of committee in the yeah. Senate, which is so important because it took those, those early um, recommendations from the NTSB and we uh, made them into law. Because you're right, this, this disaster never should have happened in the first place. There are things that the government can do uh, to make sure that it doesn't. Um, you know, the certified engineers, the making sure that, you know, these change orders are more, uh, have, have more oversight. Uh, and so that is going to be, um, you know, in statute very soon. Now that we're approaching a year since the fiasco. Yeah. Uh, rate the performance of the executive branch agencies that have been involved with this in the aftermath. Have they been an ally, uh, more mixed? You know, I would say that uh, you always have impatience around uh, a process like this. You know, the NTSB came in right away. They, uh, they, they handed out some very preliminary findings that we were able to act on very quickly. Um, but, you know, this investigation is ongoing. And I think, you know, right now we hang in the balance. The, our community's safety hangs in the balance. And so we want to drive that to conclusion. We want that to be worked out so that we can understand what, more, you know, what other legislative steps we should be taking. We've got to take a break. But I'm kind of surprised the settlement preceded the conclusion of the federal investigation. Yes, well, you know, I think the, the, the federal investigation is going to be more around, you know, what can we do around pipeline safety in general, okay. uh, whereas the claims process and the class action suit is mostly around what damages do we need to uh, okay. repair. And people needed that money Absolutely. Now. Yeah. Right. All right, let's take that break, and when we return, we'll talk a little bit about impeachment uh, and other matters pressing uh, down in Washington, D.C. with our guest, Congresswoman Lori Trahan. So please stay with us.